Alright, our second connector today is a end type coaxial connector by Pulse. It's uh, Pulse Connectors, sorry, pulseconnector.com.au. Catalog number N201. And um, this is specifically made for LMR400. These are a solderless type connector. So it only consists in two parts. One is the crimping collar, which you put on your coax cable first before you put the and the second part is the actual connector itself and that's all one piece uh, center pin is already in there uh, push the center conductor in there and it sort of clamps down in there I don't know if you can see it or not anyway so I need to prepare the cable it's again we're using Andrew's brand LMR 400 so you can see that there T400. Okay. As I said before, collar on first. Now prepare the prepare the cable. So you want a nice clean cut. That's pretty good. You don't want to use really blunt tools on this stuff because you'll just end up squashing it. And what we need to get here is enough of the center conductor to go up inside the plug and then seat in the pin. I normally measure it again, very similar to a PL259, I just get the connector, measure it to there, I know I need to cut about there but I need an additional length for the center pin so I cut about another 5mm off that, about there. You can always trim the center conductor later if you cut too much. And like we did with the PL259, basically we want enough braid here to go over the end there. So when that when we put this connector on, you only need enough to cover that small section because that collar is going to clamp down on the braid and then onto this section of the connector. So we want exactly that amount of braid. center pin but we want about halfway between where we've cut the braid off and the end about halfway okay we want a nice clean end on that I'm just giving a little file just to get it square connector on making sure the braid goes on the outside of this section. I can feel that's already hard up. So you can feel it go click. Probably need to cut a little bit more off. Uh, 
that's definitely hard up. I just need to snip off. Three mil off the end of that. That's good. You know that it's flayed out, it's actually hard up against the, the plastic here. And then we can slide our collar back on. There's a couple of little bits of braid there I need to clean up. Side. Just so they're not sticking out. There you go. That's nice and clean. What I like to do is put glue heat shrink over it as well. So I have a section here of glue heat shrink. It'll go over there and go all the way up. Good pair of quality crimpers. These are very old but they are high quality. Sure, there's no little bits of braid sticking out in there. That looks good. Push that hard against. And we go crimpers. Push them up the end. And crimp. <coughs> Should be really tight. Is. It's the finished product. The Mad Blue heat shrink. You don't want it too tight so that you can't spin that. the glue at there at the end of the heat shrink there it's glue so it seals it right up because end now end type connectors are actually waterproof inside there that orange piece of orange stuff in there is actually a rubber seal so when you screw that down onto the socket side that will seal the connector so once you've glue heat shrink this this side up no moisture can get in through the little cracks in the um, outer sheath here and then once that's screwed down tight that's actually waterproof a lot of people still tape them up but it is actually waterproof <laughs> 